Welcome to RoboShop Wireless 3 and now we are starting to delve into the nitty gritty details of our discussion. I'm sitting at one of my favorite spots and you'll soon find out why. Because today we're talking about what RTK systems can do in a complex home garden on a private property. How to program the device in detail with the app is expertly executed and you can now discover numerous YouTube videos on this topic. All beautiful theory, really great to program when everything is functioning. Currently, there is a specific reason why EPRO systems, or RTK systems in general, do not simply emerge in private properties like mushrooms, despite the fact that they are highly desired by everyone. That's what the video is about, specifically not how to program it, you'll figure that out quickly. To do this, you just need to watch relevant videos, no, it's about the nonsense in these videos. And that is some nonsensical information. And that is the reason why it is not as simple as it seems. And that is what we all need to be cautious and vigilant about when installing such a system at home. On the premises, I just want to mention I have conducted hours of training for our executives so that we can advise you properly at RoboShop. And please believe me, this is our risk and not your money that you would then have sunk accordingly. Moreover, EPOS. All well-established manufacturers employ a so-called RTK or differential GPS system as their fundamental means of navigation. Additionally, there's a base station up there on the roof's top. It's non-critical since you'll always mount it correctly. That implies that can be overlooked. Then there exists a correction radio connection and that is where the initial fairy tales originate. This route is actually not critical at all. It's a great radio that is based on the old frequency of the first mobile network and reliably establishes a connection between the robot and the base station even around houses to avoid shadows. You must have heard a lot about it. There are all sorts of fairy tales. None of them are true. What is the problem? For RTK GPS to work in principle, we will briefly look at it on the computer later to see how it works. But for it to work in principle, it requires both the base station and this antenna, which in this case is inside a Husqvarna Eposmia, to have precise satellite reception wherever it is. Yes, and now take a look at my favorite part. There is a tree, there is a swing in the back, and in between the lawn is very tight and well maintained. You can also see it briefly displayed below now how it looks on the app. So here, navigation must be accurate to the centimeter. Otherwise, the lawn robot's blade is exactly at that spot in the stand. So, and then there is also the lawn robot standard, which tells the robot if you don't have a very precise position here. Ha! Lawn robot standard topic where vacuum cleaner makers jump in once don't believe in it. No, a lawn robot is not permitted to operate unless it has precise knowledge of its location within a two centimeter range. And this requirement is doubly redundant. So that means he always has to know it. And now let's take a look around. Let's take a look at the tree. Let's see how much we can see from the sky there. We see nothing from the sky there. That means that's a spot that is not so easy to handle with RTK. And it's not just a quick satellite search as you hear in some videos and he'll eventually continue driving. No, he will not continue driving in there. And if we do not specifically pay attention to what we are supposed to do here, which includes actually evaluating and measuring satellite reception everywhere in these areas, he will end up stuck in the corner. And that's just how it is. Now let's talk about the principle. I'll take you to the computer with RTK GPS now. Before we proceed to the computer, just a quick note. Segway has reached out to me. A close acquaintance of mine and the robot are on board. 15 test models have been ordered and we will be starting shortly. And then we will hear more about this highly interesting robot. It is indeed one of the reputable ones that uses RTK GPS as its foundation and promises to know exactly what it can do in the price range of around 2,500 euros. Let's check if that's really the situation. Michael Buchbauer, you know, the forecast from last time. Michi, where are you? 
You have not contacted me yet and naturally I am extremely enthusiastic to take apart the stick on my test N2, just like I mentioned earlier. As previously mentioned, there are three excellent candidates, three sentences on RTK GPS and then we will analyze the details. By the way, this is the approach we take in your garden when you are provided an EPOS system by us. We observe the satellites and then we consider the appropriate course of action at this moment. To make it easier from the reflection aspect, I will now show you a screenshot of what we see here. So, the gorgeous EPOS universe. As you can observe, we have developed numerous elements in this place. How to correctly assemble it, how to analyze it properly, and among other things, we will perform a so-called GPS check on site in collaboration with you. So, and now let's see in principle how the system operates. We have the satellites positioned up there. There are four satellites depicted. Why? Because there are four navigation systems. Among them were a person from China, a person from Europe, a person from America, and a person from Russia. And all four are used. Why? Because as you have learned before, I always need two redundant signals. That signifies thus the four systems that are processed at the same time concurrently. These signals need to be received accurately at this reference station. You see no problem, it's up there at the back on the roof and we can even see it quite well from there. So there is no problem and then the sea itself standing right behind me over there. In addition, he also requires this accurate satellite reception at this very moment in time. For what reason? It is merely about the distance of the system from the sea and how far off it is. And that signifies that the misinformation caused by the railway data, weather, satellites, the circles and other related elements is precisely identical at the reference station as it is when at sea. There are identical deviations. And because this reference station is currently at a fixed position, the deviation at this location is known. And it is exactly this information that is transmitted to the ocean through the correction data link. And now he is aware, because of Galileo, I have to make a correction of two centimeters or possibly even two meters towards the southeast in order to be at the correct location. This is how RTK GPS works. But what is important? The reception must be spot on, it always is. Receiving signals from the sky above, which refers to the view of the sky, is currently a matter of concern for the mower. Because no matter where he drives, and now you can see it from the position. Let's see the aerial view from where we are standing now. Yes, I would say she is modest. And simultaneously we have a multitude of movements due to the fact that we are in a tight spot there. The spot will not work easily if you lack knowledge of what you're doing and how to navigate the challenges it presents. And the reason, as mentioned, is not a correction path behind the house, through the house, or anything else that is generated there. No, solely the reception on the robot itself. No other aspects or components are involved, solely the reception on the robot. The problem is in the location where he drives. That area needs to be analyzed. Yes. And now let's examine a few areas in the garden where it doesn't work as smoothly on this test setup, so you can gain an understanding of what to watch out for when installing an electronic point-of-sale EPOS system. And please do not despair at this moment, it took us a total of two years to somewhat comprehend and grasp the knowledge of how to effectively analyze a property. Well, the reason why there are not as many systems yet and I would say if you do want one at this point, let us just say we have the capability to do it. Just contact RoboShop and we will analyze your property and see how it looks. So we are getting closer to the house. You can already see a towering wall of the house there. I would estimate approximately 10 meters. In the front there are spruces, and on the opposite side we have trees that simply obstruct the satellite view. So there is still quite a lot of sky to see. Yes, and one cannot help but wonder about that one spot down there, those few square meters I have here. They cannot be mowed with EPOS, that is the reason why they are not mowed, while everything else around them looks perfect and well maintained. 
In this case, we actually have a satellite shadow that we are unable to resolve easily. And here from the outside, the spot where we had a conversation. As you can see, the tree provides a beautiful cover for it. When I proceed to that location and take a stroll, all I see are satellites positioned above and the sense of perspective is not present. That implies very evidently in the region, and that simply requires to be mowed at this moment. And as you can see, it is additionally mowed. You have to be cautious. We possess the next spot located behind my chicken fence, where there are these steps in place. And as you can see in this area, it has been mowed manually, resulting in a beautiful landscape all around. So a common scenario where, as you can observe once more, the tree cover does not experience an increase. Here we must inform you, valued customer, that you will need to manually mow this area using your hands. You will have to live with that, or we will have to install wired. Just again, as I said, with the big difference. You know it in advance, we inform you and you can make a decision. Is that significant? Do I desire to have wireless functionality on the remainder of the property and simply go without a few stones? Just trying it out is simply not enough, unfortunately. So, and the third point we're talking about, that is actually a point that I as a customer would no longer accept. We have the house on one side, we have the house on the other side, and in between there stands a beautiful tree. As we walk through here at this moment, you can already observe that the view of the sky is present, but regrettably it is somewhat restricted. So, in my situation, EPOS will not be able to operate in this location because this is where my lovely lawn is, where we already have other tools for cutting in use. But if I were a regular customer at this moment, I would not accept the fact that I purchased an 8,000 euro system and yet I am still unable to mow with precision. Yes, even at the risk of disillusioning you slightly at this particular moment in time. However, it is not as easy as it seems. The good news is we can evaluate whether an EPOS system is functioning properly. And let me immediately inform you that the series will be ongoing. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because Segway is about to present a truly fascinating method for you to evaluate everything I have demonstrated with the assistance of an AI. This is demonstrated by the company's experience. Segway, with a term you'll learn in my future series, namely odometry, has already shown its potential. Plenty of experience with Segway for odometry, that is the third navigation method, but more on that in the upcoming video. Until we meet again. Thank you for your attention, my beloved ones.